Talking about fish diseases is showing you several cases of problems that I encountered during my work as a fish health consultant. This time I had to go to a pet shop who had problems with their fish. So I will show you in my next screens some videos I took of a problem that I found in, uh, in a certain fish. Well, it was a case of tetras, which had uh, damaged finch, tails, many were stressed, and there were some losses reported. Well, the tetras, you could see, they were swimming very accurately. So the pet shop owner was happy that the fish were very active, they were swimming, they were eating, but you could see that the fish were swimming very heavily. Look how the tetras had to behave permanently against the heavy current in the water. And all the other fish in that system were suffering. You could see that this is normally not a place where a tetra should be. They should swim around like schools in, in a normal way. So, well, if you go to the next one in detail, you can see here the damaged fins. You see the damaged tails. You see that these fish are, are not happy. Although they are actively swimming, why? Because they had to stay alive in that current. They had no other chance to try to stay, stay in, in, in the water because they were moved away by the heavy current of the system. So a fish disease like this is something else than just a disease. It had to do with a, a stress factor, the heavy current. Of course, a filtration system is important and the better your filtration system the better you will uh, you control your water quality. But if the current is too heavy, you will not have a better filtration system. No, the filtration system is determined by the good bacteria in your filter. The heavy and fast current might even cause a problem that the ammonia is not converted or the nitrite is not converted rapidly enough because the water passes too quickly through the filter system. But in this case, the stress was very heavy on the fish. And for those tetra, this is a problem. So to see fish diseases like this, uh, well, you have to think about factors. The factors of a fish in the water, which, which has a stress exposure. And he is living in an environment or possibly pathogens are there, maybe asymptomatic, that some of the fish carry some bacteria. And that with the stress, the immunity of the fish goes down, it weakens the immune system. And then the disease can come there and here the environment, but well, the water quality was maybe okay, the temperature and, and, and it was good hygienic. But here, maybe we could talk about fast water current instead of slow water current. That also can be a problem. Well, this is a case that I uh, like to discuss with you and uh, learn more about our books my books on fish diseases on freshwater and marine fish, which can help you to be well or better educated. So I hope uh, this brings you more information, thinking about your filtration system when you have a very heavy water flow that can have a negative impact on the health of your fish. Thank you.